My name is Chris Nguyen. I'm one of the neuroradiology fellows at USC. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own radiology case logs and how to compare productivity or work RVUs among different radiologists. So in order to do this, you need to do two steps. The first thing is to export data from Nuance and Power. And the second step is to use pivot tables in Excel to create case logs and compare productivity. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is log into Nuance and Power. Now here's the link up above. And you usually have to do this through a VPN or on a computer at Keck. So you click Advanced Search. And the first thing you do is you go ahead and choose a date range. So I'm going to choose from May um, until today. And you scroll all the way to the bottom and you select the radiologist. So in this case, let me just search for myself. So it's going to pull up the cases that I read. And I can also search for um, other radiologists too. I can select multiple people. And once I'm done, I'll go ahead and I'll X out. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and I'll search. And here you go. Um, Empower has pulled up 290 uh, reports um, that were read by um, the two radiologists who we specified uh, in between those dates. So next I'm going to go ahead and export the results into an Excel spreadsheet. Now you want to open up the range to all, click Acknowledge, and you go ahead and download. So I have already downloaded um, the case logs um, just for me. And so here's a copy of my uh, individual case logs. Um, as you can see, uh, every row represents a different study. And the columns represent uh, different uh, descriptions and aspects of the exam. It uh, tells you the modality, exam description, CPT code, and a ton of other information. So to make um, your case logs, you go ahead and click insert, and then you click pivot table. And it selects all the data, you click OK. And all you have to do is click and hold on exam description and drag it into rows. And as you can see here, now here is um, the list of all the exams that I have read. And to get the number, I click and hold exam description, and then I go ahead and I drag it into values. And here you go. Here's a copy of um, all, my, uh, all my cases. Let's zoom in and show you. As you can see, everything is in alphabetical order. And if I want to um, order it so that uh, my most common studies are on top, I go to sort, largest to smallest. And as you can see, uh, my most commonly read exam during that time period is a head CTs. And so if all you need um, is to make your case logs, um, you can pretty much stop the video now. But if you want to compare productivity between radiologists, I will show you how in the next step. So here is a different uh, search that I performed using Empower. And I searched for um, the studies read by the six different uh, neuroradiology fellows. So to compare productivity, you go ahead and insert a pivot table. Select all the data. Now what you want to do is you want to scroll down to uh, preliminary report by. Right, this is a resident or fellow who uh, drafted or prelimed the report. And then after that, you want to go all the way down to uh, work RVU. And it sums up the work RVUs. So if I zoom in here, what you see is the name of all the different fellows and also the number, uh, total number of RBUs that we read um, during that specified time period. And as you can see, there's a blank column here. Now, sometimes when you pull data from uh, Empower, um, there's some uh, blank spaces. So you can go ahead and delete those and um, uh, refresh uh, your pivot table. Now there's also other interesting things that you can do. For example, if you want to break things down by modality, you can go ahead and drag modality and drag it into columns. And now you can see the different um, the number of RBUs we've read um, by different modalities. And if you want to filter things a little more, 
let's say I scroll down and I click on patient status, drag it into filters. Now I can filter by patient status. So for example, if I want to just see the number of RBUs associated with um, inpatient studies, so click inpatient, and there it is. Now you can see the number of RBUs I've read uh, for just inpatients, and it also breaks it down by modality. So I hope you thought this um, video was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching.